it's Hitman Squad back at again with another video here today, man. It's King of the Packs episode 8. We got most feared in the game. Did it really mess with the market at all? Um, training is still kind of the same price, so mystery packs are kind of still a bit iffy. But hoping that the market starts to go down a little bit. You know, hopefully, yeah, he drops some crazy offer this weekend or something like that, and we get a little tank in the market. But if you guys don't know what King of the Packs is, it's where I rank every coin and trading pack in Madden 24. Kind of give you guys an idea of what you should be pulling and what you should be passing up on. Every time I put a pack onto the tier list, I'm going to show some of you guys' big bang of pulls that you guys submitted to me on Twitter. Post looks like this. Opens Friday. Closes Monday. Uh, make sure you guys are just, you know, posting your pictures under the name in the comments section. Um, you have to have a full screenshot of it, and um, I go by value first, so whoever has the best poll, and the, the best poll is the same value, then we go by who submitted first. So, um, keep them submissions rolling, man. You guys are going crazy with the packs, but before we hop into the packs, the ranking, the top 10, you guys know what I have to say. Say in every video, make sure you guys hit the like button right now. Hit the sub button if you haven't, and also put on post notifications, man. Join the Nodi gang. Let up the comment section, and let me know down below what is your king pack. That is the pack that you're pulling the most, your favorite pack. Kind of like, you know, the best value pack for you. So, where do we start? Um, Let's start with most feared since it's new. Where's the other most feared pack? Bro. I mean, I don't know about this coin pack. I actually put that above the 78 plus, but the 78 plus was horrendous, bro. I think I dropped 20,000 training into this pack. I got back 6,000 training. Now, again, whenever we're doing a training reroll, we're not expecting to, you know, get the amount of training we got back. Usually we sell cards, exchange cards, do that. But that's kind of crazy that we got like 25% of our training. It's just, I don't know. I know that's just a fat L. So I'm going to leave that right there. Um, I know some of you guys did good with that pack. We'll get into those submissions in a second. I want to just put a few more on here. AK coin trash team of the week coin trash i don't think i've actually done an opening of either of these packs all year i just haven't even felt the need to i actually um was going to open the aka pack on aka monday but i just i told myself in my head i'm like bro like there is no point like you should just open the mystery pack and i was gonna do the video just so you guys could see how bad the pack was but i was like bro if i put open 10 of these i spent 780k i'm probably gonna get back 150 200k max on that opening so i was like bro i would rather just save my valuable coins and go into the mystery i ended up going to the mystery did really good so take learn a listen from samuels don't open any of these packs right here bro they're just not worth touching let them be but let's get into submissions for the most feared packs this week. All right, so first submission goes to Delpin84 with a 90 overall Matthew Judon. I, I didn't see many people getting anything from this pack, bro. Usually on the feed, you'll see a bunch of people pulling good stuff. Yeah, I didn't see much from the 78 plus. I know a lot of people got stuff from their free ones, but not many people were pulling the training ones. So GG to you, Delpin84. You are king of the 78 plus most feared pack for the week and episode. Let's get to the coin. MF coin, man. That's actually crazy, bro. Aiden 5530 got a 88 aka Patrick Peterson and an 87 overall most fear in one pack. 37,500 for that, man. That's crazy, bro. Big fat W for you, man. Aiden 5530. You are king of the most fear coin pack for the week and episode. Let's get back to the tier list. Back to the tier list since AK and team of the week didn't have any submissions. And I like that. Keep it like that. I don't want to see anybody submitting anything for the AKA coin or the team of the week pack, bro. We're just going to let those just fade away, okay? We're going to let those fade away. Um, What can we go with next? Playmaker. Put this in the trash, the normal playmaker. And I'm going to put the pro playmaker obviously above that one. The normal playmaker, the last time I opened it, I took a fat L. It just wasn't interesting. It wasn't fun. This pro playmaker, man, you guys know my last few mystery pack openings. Like, I don't like it. I feel like it's for, it's just, I, I don't know. It, again, I might be too harsh on it because whenever we do open, we get a bunch of high golds. We get a few elites, but it's like such a 50-50. You're either getting absolutely nothing or you're getting a big banger pull. As we saw in my Monday video, I got a big AKA pull from the pro playmaker. It's just, it's it's one or the other. There's no in-between. Like, there's no middle ground with this pack. It's buns cakes or heat. 
So I don't know, I'm gonna leave that in the garbage. Not really a favorite pack for me personally. The Triumph Leaf pack, I, dude, this pack needs to go. This pack just needs to leave. Now I know that EA dropped a new mystery pack that is 60,000 coins. I just wanted to touch base on that. Do not open that pack, bro. Because if you look at all the packs that I have down below in the do not pull anymore, those are like all the packs that they added into the new mystery pack for coins. It's 60,000 coins. You get the Triumph Elite, the um, AKA, the Most Feared Coin, the Pro Max. Like, it's trash. It's horrible. It's embarrassing that they even thought that anybody was going to fall for that one. I don't even want to make a video on it because that's an instant lose all your coins type opening as well. So, just take a look at all the packs I have down here. Three of them were all, this one couldn't even be added into it, but all these were added into that new mystery pack. So just don't touch it. Let it be. Let's get into the submissions for the packs that I put on though. I think this was actually the only out of all that we put on the Playmaker, the Pro Playmaker, the Triumph Elite. Yeah, I think this was the only pack that actually had submissions. So Drew Strom won. As we know, Joshua Allen and Derwin James were both added back into packs last week. So again, W pull right here that you were able to snag him from that. And then Bell's Finn 17 with an 89 overall. Isaiah Simmons going for a good bit because he is a good card. So you'll have to see both those popping out the playmakers. I'm telling you, man, it's either heat or it's trash. And I'm sorry I had to rant about the mystery pack, all that stuff just a second ago. I just had to let it be known, man. It's the king of the packs. But Drew Strom won and Bell's Finn's uh, 17. You guys are king of the pro playmaker for the week and episode. Let's go back to the packs. All right, who is next? I think I'm gonna do a gold plus opening on Wednesday. I'm pretty sure I am. I haven't touched this pack in a long time and I need to get, since we just got Mutt Rewards again, I need to rip this on my side accounts that I haven't got Mutt Rewards Legendary yet. So I think I'm gonna do this Wednesday. Probably, for now, I'm gonna put this under these packs. For now, I, I guess I could put it right here. Cause I don't, bro, can we go in between? Thank you. Um. I don't really like this. This pack was good for like a week or two, and now it's trash. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to see what happens with this gold plus opening. Not expecting anything. It might just be an opening where I open up like 150 packs and get straight gold cards. But we're going to test it out and see what happens. Um, Max Fantasy. I'm going to put this one above the Pro Playmaker, bro. I don't know where I had this last week. It might have been here. I really think this pack is it's it's good. For being a 37,500 coin pack, it is good, and I get average to above average pulls from it every now and then, but I feel like most of the time, it's always the same thing. I'll get in a lead or two, I'll get high golds, and it's like, for the price of the pack, it's better, honestly, than the pro playmaker. I'm gonna be honest with you. So, I'm gonna put that one right there. Um, we'll get into the submissions for the Max Fantasy and the Gold Plus right now. I'll say get a gold right there, man. Throwback. Reed Marbury and RTL Razor. Again, W, I mean, for 2,400, you can't go wrong with these pulls. I mean, they're nothing insanely crazy, but they're both going for something. They're both decent, man. So you like to see it. Reed Marbury and RTL Razor. You guys are king of the gold plus for the week and episode. Max Fantasy time. Not bad, not bad. J1373832. 90 overall team of the week pull 87 overall jimmy graham i don't like jimmy graham by the way i've said this in my last video he is trash for me i might just be trash but he's been really bad for me hawks nations 12 88 overall charles what's it i mean w pulls right there man i'm telling you dude like this pack is better than the, the it's better than the pro playmaker it really is dude i feel like i get better pulls out of this pack i get more consistent pulls out of this pack more elites out of this pack than the pro playmaker it's crazy, but we'll take it, man. J1373832 in Hawks Nations 12. You guys are king of the max fantasy for the week and episode. Back to the tier list. All right, I think we can get the rest of these packs out of the way, man. Dude, this pack has not been horrible. It really hasn't. I'm going to put this one above the pro playmaker. I think the unstoppable elite, especially coming out of the mystery pack, I would never spend whatever 80,000 coins on it, but coming out of the mystery pack, this has actually dropped me some bangers. I got a 90, I get 87s. I just get all right stuff from it. It's a pack when I see it, I'm not mad that I got it. So I'm gonna leave that one right there. This 80 plus when the LTDs were in this pack, it was worth opening, but now that they're not, it, it's probably gonna have to go in here. I'm, I'm just not gonna be opening this pack at all. When the LTDs are there, then it's like an extra added bonus. So. I like that, but not anymore. 
Um, I think we're just going to do the same thing as last week, bro. I mean, it's literally the same thing. Legends to the Decent, Mystery Packs to the King, and Star Elites right after the Legends, bro. I mean, Legends and Star Elites are popping out bangers for me. Like, those are my favorite packs to get, especially from the Mystery Pack. You know, until we get a good reroll, until we get, you know, half-off coin packs, until we get, like, something... The mystery pack is just going to be the king. And I, I know I said this in the first few times that the mystery pack spawned in. I didn't even want to put it up there because I knew it was just going to be the king pack every single week. Because there's no point to pull any coin or training packs when this pack is in the game. It's just, just kind of how it is. But Legend and Star Elites, man, these are great, amazing packs. Then it kind of goes down to this tier. I feel like these two are the next best. Pro Playmakers are also decent, but... All of these packs, man, I am not touching. I'm not going after. I'm just really not feeling at all. You guys know the biz. So let's get into submissions for the Unstoppable 80 Elite, Star Elite, Legend. And we'll see what we got going on in the top 10. Max Arkins, 90 overall Derwin. W, man. Again, these spawn back in packs just out of nowhere. EA was feeling generous. You like to see it. Max Arkins, you are king of the 80 plus Unstoppable um training pack for the week and episode let's get to the elite unstoppable elite w's delpin 84 and bell's thin 17 both with 90 overall pulls can't go wrong man i even see an 84 on the side biscuit for bell's fin so you like to see that man delpin 84 and bell's fin 17 you guys are king of the unstoppable elite for the week and the episode max pack star elite star elite scraps one and gavin pearson one both of 89 overalls, man. You can't be mad about that. Those are like 230k a pop. So we will take that. Star Elites be popping out bangers all the time. Um, Scraps 1 and Gavin Pearson 1. You guys are king of the Star Elite for the week and episode. Legend time. And the best submissions I think we have had all year. Snow Games 04 and Hawks Nations 12. Let's give them a round of applause, man. 90 overall P. Will. Oh my gosh, man. I wish I could have got this. But he was going for 1.7 mil. I mean, this is one of the most expensive cards we have had in Madden 24 to this point. I mean, he's still up there. I don't know what he's at right now, but he is still very much up there, bro. So W pulls. I know when you guys saw this, you must have had to run around the room, do a walk around yourself because yeah, that's crazy, man. Snow Games 04 and Hawks Nations 12. Congratulations. You guys are king of the legend pack for the week and episode let's check out the top 10 all right guys not much has changed snow games is still in the lead max arkins right behind hawks nations in the three the bomb in the four delpin in the five rtl razor in the six bell spins in the seven um evan in the eight pit in the nine and 813 vince in the 10 so um we are coming up on the end of october so as you guys know whoever gets the most submissions by the end of october is going to win a little gift so that is coming i think we might have what maybe one or two more king of the packs um before that time so try and get your submissions in snow games isn't in the lead but anything can happen man he takes weeks off so we'll have to see what the heck happens but ggt all man keep the submissions rolling let's get back to the tier list all right man yeah i started ranting a little bit in this video man packs are really like kind of pissing me off um mystery pack is like the bright side of madden right now it really is i mean you get packs for so much cheaper. You get packs to what they should be priced. I mean, that's literally what the mystery pack is. I don't know why EA... I don't know. They Like, they had to do it, bro. Because, I mean, the market was going to be completely messed up. So, um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, this weekend, we get a big store offer and um, training goes down a lot. I feel like this is going to be a great... I feel like Saturday, they're going to drop something crazy, bro. Saturday, they'll drop something crazy. Training will go down. Of course, I'll be super freaking busy on Saturday, so I won't even be able to buy training, but... I'll try my best. Um, I think it's going to go down, hopefully, and then the mystery pack will go down in price because we need it to, man. It's like 35 to 40K a pop right now. So that's going to be all for King of the Pack. So um, let me know what your guys' thoughts for the best pack right now. And Madden, let me know what you guys are opening and hit that like, hit that sub, put on post notifications, and make sure you guys are taking pictures for submissions this week, man. Again, we're coming close to that in October. Someone's getting a prize looking like snow games, but someone might be able to pass them. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll see you guys in the next video stream, man. It has been real. Peace.